guess. If they only knew how boring it really is. How's that book reading coming along? Fine, I guess. Good. Keep it up. <laughs> you do enough of it, maybe you can learn to rob like a gentleman. I don't believe it. Well, how do you mean? I don't want to get a job in a bank or Keeping busy there. Careful. I saw mice on them earlier. I guess that I am just some tired old Yankee dreamer in a world I no longer understand. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Arthur. Hey, how about you bring that pretty little face over here for a kiss? Have you been, Arthur? Fine, Mary Beth. <laughs> you see that, Mary Gillis? Sure. Yeah, I saw her. Get over her, Arthur. Oh, it's all a long time ago. Oh. I hope so. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. Good. Thanks again for taking Jack fishing. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Ah, uh, don't worry about them, okay? Well, I should get back to it. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, hi. Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? What, what? What do you mean? Uh, I'm just joking with you. All right, then. What? Yep.
missed you. Yeah. Buddy. Hey there, mister. Hi there, mister. Mister? Hey, partner. Mister? Hello? Hey, partner. Hi. Hello. Hello. What are you looking at? Hey there. Mister? What do you want? This is private. Get lost. Mister? Hey there. Howdy, partner. First time? Gum, candy, tobacco, all the good stuff. Wait a sec. You can't be over there. And there's nothing for you over there, sir. Come on. Ask your agent here. You're starting to rile me now, pal. You get the hell out of here. A Christ sake, get the hell out of here. Relax, friend. Hey, put that damn gun... Let me into that back room of yours, right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Thought you were that cowpoke who bothered us earlier. Put it on the table. Looks like a nice little business you got going. <laughs> You ain't 
tank. Turned out pretty nice, didn't it? Time for me to move on, though. Just sold it to a farmer moving up here from the south. Good for you. So can I have my money now? Of course. Not a problem. We managed to drum some together. Here you are. As promised. And with interest. Be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? Hey, a real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Didn't make me happy at all. How about we re face the stakes, huh? Come on, could win real big, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first, wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Shoot, huh? Ah, <sighs> oh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. 
You'll see. Come on now, boy. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. <laughs> hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. We're never gonna get there at this rate. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Mark. What's the, the lot folks say? 
You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. They're left here, towards roads. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. You're going too fast. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters. Just to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's seat. Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, oh, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you, tree. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Okay, then. Whoa, whoa. <sighs> Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. Join us on there. All right, get Master. on that train. All your captain. We'll go on ahead. Oh! Everybody, stay calm. Sure. Ah. You get shot. You're better. Go. Than this. Everything you got. Money, valuable. You're better than this. There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! I ain't got nothing. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? Come on! In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count to three. God damn it. Oh, God. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No. Okay. Go ahead and look for the baggage sure car. That? You show this son of a bitch where he is! Where he is! I am adverse to conflict, my dear. Everything you got. Money, valuables. Stay with me until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Put the gun down, they beg him. 
Don't be... Son of a bitch. Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Let's go, Mr. M. That's carry. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks. What is it? You alright? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Double here. That gives you Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. <laughs> There's a few more of them torn enough. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons and get off the train. We got more coming from the trees there.
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, sure. Hey. All the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. Let's try and get there in one piece. They see this block on the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, it picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so it shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. They're left here, towards roads. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You're gonna run the horses to death. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. Hey, hey, take it easy. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. Go easy on them horses, will you? I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. Quick and join us on there. All right, get on that train. Hey, bastard! All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Everybody, stay calm. Sure. You get shot. Go. Everything you got, money, valuable. This is unnecessary. Please. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? No, please. What's the problem here? Honey, hey, Splash! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay, okay, in the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Don't do it. I'm gonna count to three. One, two, Damn it! Oh, no. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can Ladies be over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a robbery. Let's make this quick. I don't want to do anything. You look at huh? No. You, sure you go that? ahead and look for the baggage you sure car. This son of a bitch, we ain't playing around here. Quick, come on! Everything you got. Money, valuable. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't do this. Don't make me hurt you. What is that? Bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you folks! What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Don't miss your run. 
This time I'll look and you provide the cover. The best brother, boy. I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. These folks are rich, all right. You ain't got a hole in it. I know. And this racket's in there. Oh, Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know. That's what's worrying me. Come on, we should get out of here. We'll take that. All right, we should... Probably be going now. Some decent stuff. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many? Last chance, drop your weapons and get off the train. Let's get the hell out of here! <laughs> that 
hours fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. Please, we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks, Bill. How's things? Right as rain. Good. How are you? Oh, I've been better. Me too. Good morning, Arthur.
Good day, Mr. Morgan. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Appreciate it, Pearson. Hello. All right. Why don't you... Sit a while, Arthur. Everything okay? Always. Just checking. Sure, Arthur. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Is he an honest fraud? The way I see it, he's the worst kind of fraud, Mr. Dutch. He's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. How do you mean? He's on vacation with the lower classes. The outlaws, though unprotected by wealth. You are too hard on him. He, he writes with incredible beauty. Yes. He's very ornamental, as my uncle would say. And your uncle? What was he? He was a slave. Most educated man in his county. But a slave. Miller writes about men like him. Ah, uh, Miller's a slave too. A slave to pretty words and empty phrases, but he don't understand. You are too harsh a critic. Look, you're a great man, Mr. Dutch. But you ain't great because of Evelyn Miller. <laughs> Keep quiet, Morgan. He'll eat you alive. It ain't difficult. <laughs> Watch yourself, Lenny. Never seen the appeal of Miller much myself, neither. I wish I knew what you wrote in that journal. Huh. <laughs> Nonsense, mostly. What have you been up to, Arthur? You look odd. You want to talk? I don't know. I just don't feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Mm, I've been hurting women too. Bad. I can't explain it. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is gonna end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know.
We'll see. Perhaps. me done hello arthur okay mr ashley 